Uh, excuse me, sir, I think you're accidentally grabbing my cup. What? This is how gays greet each other. Hey, hi. Are you a homophobe? Uh, no. Good. Today I'll talk about my experience when I was in a gay club for the first time. I was a huge Queer as Folk fan. It was this gay TV series about this clique that was always partying at the Babylon. The baddest gay club ever. So expectations were pretty high. What happened to all the naked dancers with six packs and angel costumes? But after a while, I was like, <gasps> Is this the dark room where you can just fuck each other? <gasps> but over here as well, everyone's making out with each other and nobody gets spat on, insulted, or poured over with a 0.5 liter bottle of Bonacqua mineral water. Unless they want it. Here. <sighs> hey, sweetie. I'm a lesbian. Uh, are any of the Justin Biebers here actually dudes? Dang it. I was actually just there to make friends, but while we were out there dancing, a guy got weirdly close to me. Uh, your hand is on my ass. No, his hand is on your ass. My hand is on your dick. But since the presence of a dark room makes anything that isn't full on intercourse seem almost tame, I just thought, huh, it's just like in Queer as Folk. So it's uh, okay, I guess. Uh, so you're saying a TV show made you think this wasn't going too far. Well, I think that simplifies things a bit. I was from a small town, and those people on TV were my only window into the gay world. My insert character was Justin, who came into the gay scene at the age of 17 and started an affair with an almost 30-year-old. Everything from drug excess and explicit sex scenes, drag queens, gay neighborhoods, homo comics. It was a total package. And I wanted this life, too! The show even advertised that it didn't have any role models. It was raw and edgy, and that's why I went to this club at 18 and did things that just felt normal for the gay scene. It's all about the sex. That's the intro for Queer as Folk? You are so right. How could you have known that everything you saw would be portrayed as overly sexualized? I just don't think it's that far off from reality. I saw the same stuff in the club. Sex and sexuality are by no means the same thing, but with us gays, there's a stronger connection. <laughs> now you got me curious. Queer people often hear in their lives how they're wrong, gross, and worthless because of their sexuality. Up until the 1990s, gay sex was still forbidden in Germany, and the AIDS pandemic made the stigma of dirty, sinful gay sex even more blatantly fraught with shame. So in addition to sexuality, the sex itself was also shamed. Ah, is that why there are so many half-nakeds, pups, and BDSM people at the CSD? Among others, yeah. Because today, through pride parades, we show that neither our sexuality nor our sex is inherently sinful or something to be ashamed of. That's why it's difficult to separate the two. And most of us don't even want to. Uh, and what for? Just so we can go off and fit into one of those boring straight boy pigeonholes? And to be as compliant as possible for those people who called us gross, wrong, and worthless all our lives? <laughs> no, man. Many queer people reject this out of protest. We, we are, are here. here! We are here and we are queer! Chill out, man. It's a compliment here. That's why we're all out here protesting. Sexuality and sex, right? Uh... And because I was so happy to finally have a community where everyone was basically going through the same thing, I didn't blatantly question what was considered normal here. Open relationships. Sex for anyone, anytime! Apps like Grindr and Gay Romeo. Why does it say cock size, kink, and favorite sex position in the profile for everyone? And what does water sports have to do with all this? Sure, they tried to make safe spaces like DBNA for kids, but eventually... Who is this 27-year-old and why does he want to give me pocket money? Oh, The result is that this sex culture is always passed on in the scene and only becomes sensitized slowly over time. Due to the sex focus, there is quick and non-binding confirmation. I'm not wrong! I am not worthless! But deep and real connections are pushed aside. That was... Nice. If you wanna, you can, uh, oh. But who can really blame us? Straight kids look to their straight parents to see how things are going in a world made by straights for straights. But where are our positive role models when Queer as Folk explicitly doesn't want to provide any? Dad, can we talk? Yeah? There's this guy, but he's only a top, like me. So I'm wondering, if I want a bottom, what's the best way to prepare? And should I practice with the guy who only has an S according to his gay Romeo profile instead of an XL? Plus, he'd pay for it, too. I mean, we're not exclusive anyway, but Dad, should I take prep even with a condom because of HIV? Uh, what? Okay, but if a straight boy were to talk to his father about a girl, that would also be... A men's conversation between fathers father and son. My point is, 
I could only learn from gay filmmakers, book authors, blogs, or experienced gays on forums. And they have a completely different relationship to shame and sex than I do, because I grew up more liberally without anti-gay laws and the AIDS crisis. And yet I've adopted their ideas of what makes the gay community, or the scene, what it is now, and what values are important to me. Chill out, man, it's a compliment here. That's why we're all out here protesting sexuality and sex, right? Uh, I identify as gay, but no, don't be like that, Mick. Viva la liberación! And that's how you get stuck in a hamster wheel. But it's really not queer as folks' job to enlighten you on that topic either. You're right, and neither is it anyone else's. But in my case, I was left with nothing but that and the internet. And since I may now be the internet for the other young gay peeps, I just want to say, sexual freedom doesn't mean I can do whatever I want with whomever I want without asking. There are always two involved. And as a young gay boy, I didn't know that and thought, Oh, that's right. But if someone touches you without you wanting it, it's still sexual harassment and you can and should report it. Easy as that. Yep. I can already see conservatives losing their minds about depraved homos. I say whoever's in the Catholic Church shouldn't throw the first stone. I don't want to show prejudice here. This is still rather the exception and most treat others with respect. So be gay, be free. But ask yourself beforehand what that means for you personally and be careful not to do things you don't want out of a false sense of duty. No matter how old you are, you're just as queer and strong and valuable and supportive. Even if you don't want strangers rubbing your ass without asking. And if you do, slap a sticker on it. Huh. Uh, amen.